Number 10. Inverness Cathedral The St. Andrew's Cathedral in Inverness is located on the other bank of the River Ness and is easily accessible by foot from the castle. The Victorian Cathedral, which is easily recognized by its two front towers, was originally built in 1866 and services started in 1869. Number 9. Victorian Market The Victorian Market is among the top attractions in the heart of Inverness. One of the greatest collections of independent shops in the Scottish Highlands may be found in the 19th century covered retail arcade. Number 8. Inverness Castle Inverness Castle is perched on Castle Hill with a commanding view of the River Ness. Although there has been a castle there since 1057, the current one was constructed in 1836. The castle has served a variety of purposes over the ages, including courtroom and jail. Number 7. Clava Cairns The Clava Cairns are short stroll from Culloden Battlefield. This significant site provides an insight into the daily activities, demises and customs of Neolithic societies that existed 4,000 years ago. Number 6. Go Dolphin Watching why not seeing the world's northmost colony of bottlenose dolphins? Dolphin Spirit in Vernis offers the finest opportunity to observe the 200 or so dolphins that live in the Moray Firth. Daily boat trips are offered by the accredited ethical tour operator to well-known dolphin feeding locations which include the iconic Chanori Point Lighthouse. Number 5. Inverness Botanic Gardens Without a doubt, one of my favorite free activities in Inverness is visiting the Botanic Gardens, which is accessible without a car. Ness Islands is about a 10-minute stroll away. Number 4. Day Tour to Loch Ness That doesn't mean you have to give up Loch Ness when considering things to do in Inverness without a car. The well-known lake is 8 miles outside the city, but you can still visit it without a car or your own vehicle anyhow. Number 3. Ness Islands Do you enjoy the outdoors and are unsure of what to do in Inverness if you don't have a car? Inverness provides easy access to natural environments. The Ness Islands are located on the River Ness, a short stroll inland from the city centre. Number 2. Culloden Battlefield Culloden Battlefield is one of my favourite destinations close to Inverness. The final combat fought on British territory took place there, some 5 miles east of the city. It was here when the English soldiers brutally put a stop to Charles Stuart's Jacobite Rising in 1746. Number 1. Leakey's Bookshop Make time to visit Leakey's Bookshop in Inverness if you only do one thing there. The biggest used bookshop in Scotland, Leakey's, is only a four-minute walk from the train station. Charles Leakey founded it in 1979 and in 1994 it relocated to its present site in the 17th century St. Mary's Gaelic Church.